Um, so I didn't show you all the progress that I made yesterday with building walls. Um, I managed to get uh, one of the walls that doesn't have any windows or doors in it built. Um, I already had the two little, two little short walls built and I started building the wall that the door is going to be in. So I'm going to show you what progress I've made with that um, and just explain to you how I did it and let you watch the rest of the process to building this thing. This is the wall section for the door. So the door that I'm putting in place is a 36 by 80. Um, so what we have here is the opening for that. This is 38 inches wide and I need to put in uh, the tracks that are going to be for the bulkhead of the door, um, which is going to be 82 inches tall. It was pretty simple. I cut the track for the top and the tracks for the bottom and just connected everything. Um, I went through and cut and bent the tracks for the bulkhead and I will show you that close up and tell you how uh, we accomplished it. So these are the tracks for the bulkhead. I went through and I dog eared them with the tin snips. I cut through the metal. You can kind of see, yes, there it is. You can see how thick it is. So I cut through with the tin snips and then bent this backwards or inward, I guess. So I experimented with it a couple of different ways. Um, I tried bending this this way and I've tried bending it in this way and I felt like this gave me the cleanest edge uh, It needs to be cleaned up a little bit more. This is the line that it needs to come down to and The bend is not quite to that line. So I'm gonna beat it with a hammer basically uh, And try to get the bend a little bit cleaner so that it can fit the studs nice and clean uh, the way that I intend for it to. So I'm going to get to work on getting this bent correctly and then I'm going to get it attached to the frame um, and finish building this thing out. So when you're getting ready to cut your studs, um, you want to accommodate for the thickness of the material. The first little wall that I cut, I did not accommodate for the thickness of the material, so it's a little bit taller than I want it to be. Um, that means that all the studs that I cut for the little wall that's going to be on the opposite side, as well as the wall that is going to run from one side of the truck to the other side of the truck, the truck and align with the little walls all need to be cut the same so for these cuts right now I'm cutting the six studs that I'm going to need for the little wall uh, to complement the little wall that I've already built um, and then also to run the length from one side of the truck to the other side of the truck connecting the two little walls that I've already built so for those cuts I'm going to continue to not 
um, compensate or accommodate the thickness of the material. But from this point out, every other wall that I cut, I'm going to accommodate the thickness of the material. How am I going to do that? The thickness of the blade is about the same as the thickness of the material. It's a little bit thicker. So when I mark my cut line, I'm going to, instead of what I did for the first uh, few cuts in this cut as well, which is cut on the outside of my mark, um, from this point out, after I finish cutting for these pieces, I'm going to make sure that the blade is on top of the line that I just cut. Um, and then that's going to make sure that I'm accommodating for the thickness of the material. So I'm going to make this cut, um, and then I'm going to make the second cut, and that's going to give me all six studs that I need for uh, the walls that I just mentioned. All right, here I go. So I just finished cutting all of the long studs for the walls, meaning all of the tallest studs. Um, there were 29 of them that I needed and I counted them down. I don't know if you can see that. I counted them down on my arm until I got to three and I just got to zero.
and all of my side walls are complete. This is one section. This is another section here. Here are two more sections. The larger one has the biggest window of the space, which is going to be four feet by five feet. And then a smaller wall section down below. Here's a tiny little section here. And then these guys are my very last two. They are two sections overlapping. So there's this guy here, that's one section. And then below it is the wall section for my door. So just like that, all of my wall sections are complete. Well, not all of my wall sections, but all of my side wall sections are complete. Um, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I actually was really nervous about taking on this task because I didn't want to mess it up. It's the thing that the entire house is going to be made of. Everything is going to rest on these walls being done correctly. And I was really nervous about that and really wanting it to be done correctly. And I thought the only way that I could do that was if I pre-ordered the walls and all I had to do was put them together. Um, Needless to say, I'm super happy that I went a different route, that I decided to construct the walls myself. It took about five days of labor to construct the wall sections for both side walls. I have, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine different wall segments that I constructed. Um, and it took me about five days of labor, working maybe about, working like maybe eight hours a day, maybe a little less than eight hours a day uh, to get all of these wall segments constructed. So the next step is to stand them up. Once I get these walls stood up, then I'll be able to take all of the precise measurements I need to complete the rest of the wall sections, which include the walls for the loft area that's going to extend over the cab and the wall that's going to fill the open space that the roll-up door used to uh, close off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a break this weekend, going to go have some fun, do some camping, um, on a beach. Super stoked about that. Um, but I'll be right back at it next week when I get back. Uh, and I'll get this, I'll start to like really see it coming together. So I'm very stoked about that. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe. Um, there's definitely lots of cool content uh, to come. And yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure I already said thank you for watching, but it never hurts to say it again. So thank you for watching. Peace.